What's going on, man? So I'm gonna show y'all how I created this stack paper rip transition effect, whatever you want to call it. I made this effect for a video I did last month, and I was like, why am I gatekeeping? You know, I'm gonna just show y'all how to sauce y'all videos up a little bit, add a little bit of seasoning to that junk. All right, so here we are in Premiere Pro. First of all, I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like with no effects added to the junk. Let's get into it. Boom. This is what the junk look like with the effects added to it. You feel me? Each individual picture is actually a screen grab from the music video that I took. First and foremost, we're gonna take all the effects off of it, get down to the nitty gritty. So I took a screen grab of each individual frame, like I said. Uh, the way you do that is you hit this export frame button right here. If you don't see it right there on your toolbar, you press this plus button, then you see it right there. Drag that joint on your toolbar, now it's there forever. There you go, more sauce for you. So yeah, what I did was um, took a screen grab. Now, as you see this clip alone, it's quite lengthy. So what I did was I held shift, press forward. And we do that, it jumped five frames. I took a picture, five frames, took a picture, five frames. After I did that, I took it into Photoshop. I maxed out my subject. If you don't know how to mask out your subject, quick selection tool, just highlight my man right there. It don't gotta be too perfect, being as though you're gonna destroy the picture anyway. So once you select them, hold command, you press J. So now that we got a copy of the subject and a copy of the background, we're gonna make a text layer. It's gonna say riding. So now the way that Photoshop work, everything works in layers. So whatever's on top is gonna be on top. Whatever's in the middle is gonna be in the middle. Whatever's on the bottom is gonna be on the bottom. It's like a sandwich. You wanna put the font behind him. So all you do is drag, you put it under there. So now you have the font under him. Now we're gonna change this to white. So now that we have this, we are done with Photoshop. Next, you wanna print it out, rip it up, draw on it, uh, do whatever you want to the image. You wanna do this for each individual frame that you save. Once you have scanned everything, you ripped everything up, you did what you did to your images, you put everything back into Premiere Pro. So now, once everything is in Premiere Pro, this is where you start adding your own little, y'all you know I mean to it. In this situation, I would tell you to match up each screenshot or screen grab with the frame in the actual video. For me, I synced up each individual part of the song with the words that's in the song. So as you see, it's riding around. In the song, you hear riding around. My two pictures are not gonna sync up based off of the frame, but more so the text. After you have synced up all your pictures with the actual frames on the song, it should look like this. And I ain't gonna lie, this is cool already, but to add a little bit of more splay on top of that jump, you're just gonna add some little quick exposure hits. So there you have it. That is how I created my stack paper transition rip crunch effect for my music video. Of course, take what I taught you Add your own little style to it. And tag me in whatever videos that you've done this effect on. Let me see you in the next jump. Make sure you follow. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. All that. We out. Peace.